Hey guys, Renee here. I'm back with a Dollar Tree haul for you. My son and I were sitting around the house this morning and he decided that he wanted to be a little crafty today. So we headed off to the Dollar Tree and let me show you what we got. Some of it's just household stuff that I needed. There's my child. And some of it is stuff for crafts. He went with me so you guys know how that gets. But I want to start off with just some boring stuff. I picked up some bleach, needed some bleach for laundry, obviously. I found the Wild Lavender Spick and Span. This is my favorite, so I grabbed one of those while I was there. You guys know me and the Lavender Epsom Salt. It's my favorite, so I grabbed a couple of those while I was there. And then they had these which were new and these are dog toys and they have the little spikes on them and they're like a hard and I so I grabbed a green one and a pink one of those for the puppies because well you guys know my dogs and then they also had this which was new they had a couple of the balls in the soccer and tennis and I have somebody's full attention right now. Let her unwrap that. My son wanted Mountain Dew, which is a treat, so I went ahead and got him one of those. Uh, and then I also got him a couple, four packs of the Lemon Line Stars and Stripes because like I said, it's a treat for him and he enjoys it. And then I think the rest of this is craft stuff. So let's get on to that. <clears throat> the first thing is I just cleaned out my closet and I have a ton of wrapping paper. I actually did donate some of it um, just because I had a ton of wrapping paper. My aunt gave me a bunch of wrapping paper. And so my closet was just out of control. But Daisy's got to drink her water, you know, that's typical. Then I found this wrapping paper. And it is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation wrapping paper. I normally buy traditional, and we're going to start with the dogs. I normally buy traditional wrapping paper that looks very traditional plaid, deer, you know, old school Santa Claus, snowman, stuff like that. But... When I saw this one, I just, I couldn't. I was like, yep, I gotta have that. I locked the dogs outside, so hopefully we can get through this. So the first thing that my son had on his list was straws. He's been watching YouTube and watching like different crafting ideas and stuff like that. And so straws was on his list to get. He also wanted to get the hot glue sticks in all the different colors that have the glitter in them. So there's like the clear glitter, red, green, gold, purple. Um, maybe that's blue. I don't know. Anyways, but so he got like four packs of those. I picked up three of the wreath hangers because Christmas is coming and I have quite a few wreaths and I make wreaths every year. And so I got three of those. And then I found these, which I thought this was a super cool craft idea. They had these wood um, snowflakes there and I thought that's super cute you can do these like we like to do the letters for people um, like the initials of their names or whatever and you put Mod Podge on it and then you put pictures and then you Mod Podge over that but I thought this was a super cute craft idea we can come up with something and I bought three of them I bought one for me one for my daughter and one for my son and so we're gonna go ahead and kind of do our own little decorating. 
on them. And I thought that would be like a cute, okay. That would be a cute little DIY that I can keep forever, like a time capsule of my kids or whatever. So I went ahead and picked up those. And then they had the LED light sets. And I got them in the clear white. The color is listed up here. And you just put batteries in them. And then you can put them wherever. I thought these will be a really nice idea for some DIYs, wreaths, little trees like throughout your house and stuff. I thought that's a really, really good idea because then you don't have to have it near a plug-in. You just turn it on and off with these. So I grabbed a few packs of those. I'm sure the others are in another bag. Okay, and then I picked up the wire garland ties and I got two packages of these. They have 12 ties in each package and I got these for DIYs, putting up um, garland around my house, wreaths, and to kind of fill in on the little Christmas trees if I need to. And I also picked up a couple of their 18 inch high Christmas trees. I know these are not the best quality, but for a dollar, even if you have to add like a whole pack of that um, garland ties to it to fill it in better or whatever you have to do for a couple bucks, you have a little mini tree and I thought that's a super cute idea and you can also use these in DIYs and stuff. So I grabbed a couple of those. There's another package of the lights. And then my son wanted to get these finger paints. They have the four of them in there for a dollar. They did have at the other Dollar Tree, when I was talking about like the Crayola end cap, they had like Crayola, like jugs of Crayola paint. They were a dollar a piece though. And we didn't go to that Dollar Tree today. We just went to the one by us. So he grabbed this one that has four different colors. And then he saw these, and I know these have been around for a, a hot minute, but he wanted to get them so we could do like a hot cocoa area in our kitchen for the cold season. So we picked up a couple of these jars. They have the holes, and they do have ones that don't have the holes in them um, if you want to store stuff in there, but we're going to use them for like cocoa, cinnamon, whatever and then just sprinkle it right on top. And then I picked up a multi-purpose extra strength adhesive spray just for little craft projects here and there. I generally like to keep this stuff on hand because, well, you never know. And then I got super excited because I found the Infinity Scarf it's eight inches by 60 inches, and it's an infinity scarf, so it has like no end to it. This is kind of what it looks like when you take it out of the package, but you can put it on and then cinch it up and kind of double it like this, or you can use it for craft projects. You can use it for DIYs for Christmas time, or you can put it on your snowman when you make a snowman outside. So I thought, that's super cute, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab up a couple of them, just because I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use it for yet, but I needed one. Then I went ahead and got a package of this faux snow. They're like, they had two different sizes. They had small little pebbles, and then they had like the bigger ones, but I got the small ones. My son wanted to do like his own little snow globe, so I got a package of those. And then while I was there, I picked up a couple more of the white poinsettias and they have the clip on them because, well, I don't think you can ever have enough of these laying around your house. They just add that little extra touch to whatever. So I like them. And then I saw this 
nine feet of the ribbon and it looks like it's candy cane striped and I thought that was super cute. So that can be used to put around picture frames or to wrap gifts with or DIY. So I grabbed that up. And then I also picked up another spool of the red and green checkered because I did use some in that photo frame that I showed you guys. And so I wanted to make sure I had enough to do my bedroom pillows. So I grabbed another one of those. And then this was new stuff that they had out. And you guys know me, I scoop it up as soon as I see it. So they had these little decoration pieces and I know they've put them out for Halloween and fall and stuff, but they had the little snowman and he's got his little snowflake up there. I thought he was super adorable. And so I scooped him up and they also had a reindeer holding a star that was just like that. So I grabbed him because he was cute. And this would be cute actually to get like eight of them and put them like next to each other or get four of them, put them next to each other on a shelf or whatever. And then of course put Santa right behind him. He's got his present and kind of, you know, that's just cute. They also had a penguin one, but I don't really do penguins. So I do snowman, reindeer, Santa, that type of stuff. So, and they are super, super, super cute. I just couldn't resist. I couldn't even stop myself really. <clears throat> And then they released out snow globes. And they had a ton of them. They had Santa, they had elves, they had a nativity scene snow globe. They had, I mean, probably five to seven different new ones. And I liked the Santa one that says hope on it. And I thought that's super cute. He's got a little teddy bear and a Christmas tree and so I scooped him up and of course I also loved the snowman one it's a mama and a baby snowman and this one says peace on it I believe the one that had elves in it said joy but I just thought that was super adorable I had to scoop him up and then My son wanted to get zip ties for his little projects and he found this pack. It has a hundred zip ties in it for just a dollar. That's a good buy. And there's black, red, and white in there, different sizes. And I thought, okay. Then I always get the totally awesome oxygen cleaner. I get this for our clothes. I put a scoop in all the loads, especially blankets and stuff, because it takes like the dog smell out of blankets and stuff because my dogs are just out of control and so I got a couple of those because that's a necessity for me on hand and then I picked up the lavender breezy dryer sheets these are one of my favorite ones you get 55 dryer sheets for a dollar and yep <clears throat> my son found these brush pins you get four of them and they're like a paint style pen, I guess. And so you get four different colors in there and they've got like the paint tip on the end of them. And then he also picked up this 50 pack of miniature clothes pins. I have no idea what he plans on doing with these, but I thought these could be used for so many different things. You can paint them different colors for different holidays, use them in DIYs that way. You can put them with the twine and make a photo spread like on a wall. I thought if he doesn't use them all, I'll figure out a use for them. And then going back to the whole Crayola end cap that they had, um, they had the Crayola chalk. You get 12 pieces of chalk in here for $1 and this one has multi colors in it and you get two of each color so you get two orange two yellow two red two blue two green two purple and then this pack is all just white so we went ahead and picked those up because i do have chalk paint and i do a lot of crafts with it so 
I actually like using real chalk on them because the chalk markers on chalk paint does not come off. It does not. You have to throw that item away. If you get actual chalk, it will come off. And our final bag, my son saw this five pieces of poster board. They're the smaller poster boards in here and you get five of them for a dollar. And so we grabbed that. And then with Christmas right around the corner, I always pick up a couple packages of bungee cords to hold down ornament or hold down decoration in the yard, strap stuff to my front porch, do what I gotta do, because we all know that I live in probably the windiest city in Colorado. So you get three bungee cords, different sizes in there for a dollar. So I scoop those up with Christmas coming in mind. My son picked up one of the ornaments that you decorate yourself. He wanted to do that, so. Then I got my, oh, there's another package of the Christmas lights. And I got all clear, but they had blue, red, green, all of them. And then I got my cats some catnip, because I've lost my mind, apparently. Because Mr. Boots, he gets crazy when he's on it, and <clears throat> but it's fun. Then I found the ribbon at nine feet and it has the hollies and the berries on it. Yes, somebody told me those are holly. They're not mistletoe. So you guys no longer have to hear me say it wrong. So I picked that up and I thought that was super cute. And then I picked my pups up. They had these ones and I've shown these before, but they did not have the duck jerky strips at the other Dollar Tree that I went to. And so they did at this one, so I grabbed a couple bags of those so they can try the duck one. And then I got the last couple items. Yep, this is it. <clears throat> I got a package of the lavender bath bombs. You get three for a dollar in here. And you guys know I'm a bath person. I take baths every single day. And so I don't always put stuff in my bathtub, but when I do, I like lavender and eucalyptus scents. So I grabbed those and then I grabbed my son because he also is a bath taker. I grabbed him some of the vanilla and coconut bath bombs. These are brand new at Dollar Tree. I've never seen these be released before. And these are bath bombs for kids. I know that they've done bath bombs for kids before in other um, type, but these are like the airheads. And this one's in blue raspberry. And so I grabbed up one of those and they also had watermelon. And so I picked up that one too. It says it's for ages five plus, it's non-toxic. And I guess it smells, you know, like watermelon, obviously, but, or, and it's going to smell like the candy. So I thought that's super cute, super good idea for Christmas coming right around the corner. So they also had a red one and I think it was like raspberry or something. And then they had, but they had like four or five different kind, kinds, but I just picked up a couple of them so my son can try them, see if he liked them. Anyways. That is my haul today, guys. Leave a comment down below. Say hi. I love reading them. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.